Tackle Junkies, what's going on fellas? Really appreciate you guys clicking on the video. Today we're talking soft plastic storage. Now this is a topic that I've talked about many times in the past and, and to this day I still get some guys that will say boxing your soft plastics will ruin your baits and the boxes and that is just not the case. I've been boxing soft plastics and what I mean by boxing meaning taking them out of the packages and putting them in boxes and I use the Plano 3700 series waterproof boxes okay but like I said I've been getting that comment for the longest time you know guys saying that they have ruined their baits ruined their boxes or don't do that it will ruin your baits ruin your boxes and like I said with my experience that is totally not the case. If you guys can remember back to the Power Team Lure days, the old PTL days, which I still use to this day, but if you guys can remember back then, 10, 12 years ago, all I used to do is box my soft plastics. To me, it's, it's my favorite. It's, it's the way to go. You can see your baits. Okay, they're nice and straight in there. You can see the selection that you have. I believe it takes up less space to a point we'll get into that but like I said you can just see the colors that you have you don't have to fumble around with all the packages especially if you're talking clamshells that are in another package for me this is the way to go but over the years I've tried other soft plastic you know storage options really just to give you guys other options but if I had one way to do it for me it would be the boxes and like I said I've never had any issues with the Plano waterproof boxes some guys are it's saying we're saying that uh your baits will dry out and things like that i've never came across that issue in 10 12 years with the plano waterproof boxes maybe a box that's not watertight maybe too much air will get in there and dry them out or whatever but i personally have never had that issue with these particular boxes the plano 3700 waterproof boxes are the only ones that i use to store my soft plastics Okay, so if you're having an issue with another box, I can't speak on that. I've only used these boxes, and like I said, never had any issues at all. But for me, like I said, it's the way to go. I can get a ton of baits in one box, and really, like I said, this is not a um, this is not for everyone. You have to have the storage to be able to do this. But I do believe, to a point, it actually takes up less room. Okay, and I'll show you guys some examples um, to kind of explain that. But I just want to get across to you guys with my experience using Plano boxes and not using Elastec type baits. I've never had an issue with my soft plastics drying out or ruining my boxes or anything like that. Okay, that's really why I wanted to make this video because a lot of you guys really want to do this, but you're worried it's going to wreck your baits. Now, some guys will say, well, Will your baits stay as straight? Okay, what I like to do, I like to keep them as stocked as possible. So, you know, if I have back stock at home, as the boxes get low, I'll keep them loaded up. That way there's really less room for the baits to move around and get all bunched up. Now, during the heat, I've never had an issue. The baits themselves stay nice and soft from the sun. So I've never really had an issue with the baits like holding like a kink. You know, during winter time, I'll make sure, you know, before it gets cold, I've already straightened everything else out. That way, when it, like, takes shape, it doesn't take an all, like, a kinked up shape. Okay, but again, I've never had an issue with that because I either keep my boxes pretty stocked or I make sure that they are pretty straight when the weather cools down. But as far as, like, hot weather months, I've never had an issue with them holding a kink shape. Even if you jumble them all around, I've never had an issue with them holding a kink tail. Okay, and like I said, I, I love putting my swim baits in there. I mean, swim baits take up a ton of storage space. Now, again, I'm running a Crestliner XF189. I have a ton of storage on this boat. I can pretty much store pretty much any bait however I want in this boat. I have enough storage in this boat. So this is not going to be like the best option for a bank angler unless you want to carry a couple boxes with a bunch of different type of baits in them. But if you want to have a box, for every style of bait and you're a bank angler but you better have like 13 book bags and <laughs> you better be strong to load them all around because that would not be the way to go for a bank angler like i said unless you're only going to use a couple boxes and put a nice variety in those boxes yeah then it's great 
but uh, this is more I do believe for the boats and uh, like I said if you have the storage because I mean if you're going to use a box for each style of bait it's gonna be a lot of boxes no doubt okay but like I said for me just with you know having all the baits there under one lid all of my swim baits I can choose the color they're nice and straight I can see really how many I have what I need to order what I need to restock to me it's the way to go but just to give you guys an idea like right here this is my 4.8 majority of these are XL swims I do have some Kitex in here as well and there's only really one pack of each of these in here so this box here is taking up you know really eight clamshell packages this box here this is my four inch I have two packs in each compartment so there is eight 16 17 18 only one there only 19 there but I do have two more compartments here so if I do load two more packages in each one what's that like 24 24 clamshells okay so keep that in mind 24 clamshells let's just say 20 20 clamshells let's just say 10 for easy math okay 30 clamshells right here 30 clamshells here's another storage option for you guys Plano has these basically it's like a big utility box okay big utility box here it's meant for soft plastics I take the dividers out okay and I just cram baits inside there so we went from 30 clamshells in those two boxes there and this one here this is the edge series like I said this big utility box and I do believe three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen forty two I have 16 so this box here is just crammed full of swim baits only 16 fit in this box now if you're talking you know regular packs of soft plastics no doubt you can load this thing down but if we're talking swim baits and the reason I chose swim baits to talk about in this video is because they really take up the most space if you're talking swim baits you can only fit 16 packs okay in this Plano edge utility box here where in the Plano 3700 series waterproof boxes we have about 30 clamshells right so which one's taking up more space see what I'm saying so you have to have the room to do something like this in your boat but it also does cut down on you know the storage as far as packages go or how many of these boxes you use or whatever the case may be so you have to look at how you're storing what you're storing in and really how much space you'll be saving by going to a box versus clamshells or maybe you don't want to carry that many baits but I mean I used to carry like just a few packs of the 4.8 or 4.75 XL swims you'd get on a good bite you go through a full pack in heck less than an hour so now I like to carry a bunch of different colors and at least two packs usually of each color in case I'm on a good bite which that doesn't happen too often but in case it, it does I want to make sure I have plenty of baits so anyways here's another option for you guys can check these out the edge you know utility box here like I said regular soft plastic bags it will hold a ton we'll do another video on this down the road like I said I just really wanted to show you guys um, the storage options with the swim baits and why I choose the the boxes over like I said a utility box like this or just keeping them loose in a compartment or whatever another option and I do not store my swim baits in these okay the clamshells are just too tall but I do store other clamshell packaging in these but these are the speed bags been talking about these for a while I do love these as well again I still prefer the boxes to be able to see exactly what I have have them labeled I can see my colors whatever okay in these speed bags here they do hold a lot now if you're not talking clamshells I do believe they say the bigger one here will hold close to 40 bags if you're talking clamshells it's probably not even half that just because the clamshell itself takes up so much space but you can put a lot of soft plastics in these as well and you can just kind of sort through them to see exactly what you have again a great option here I personally though still go with the boxes but again I'm doing a variety of things over the last couple of years just to give you guys more options and really there's not a bad way to do it it comes down to how much storage do you have are you a bank angler how much you know how many baits do you have that's really what it comes down to and as the tackle junkie we know 
I have more baits than I'll ever use in 10 lifetimes. So I have plenty of baits to be able to just do a bunch of different storage options to see what works best. And this is a great option here. You know, I try to keep, when I do these, I try to keep like, these are all like grubs in here, swimming worms, things like that. So kind of similar baits, you know, the way I'm not, I don't have like 10 different styles in here and I'm trying to thumb through here. I know exactly what's in here from grubs, swimming worms and things like that. So I know this is kind of like my grub cut our um, bag here. Here's a smaller one here for like, this is all like uh, frogs from rage toads to ribbit frogs, things like that. So again, I know all that kind of stuff is in here, but uh, you know, plenty of options out there. Let me know down below your favorite way to store soft plastics. But I really wanted to make this video just to let you guys know, no, you're not ruining your soft plastics or your boxes. Now, I did make a video years ago showing you guys that the boxes will warp. Okay, there is softener in these baits and I do believe that uh, like I said, they will make some of the dividers themselves kind of bow. That and how you have them in the compartments, okay, the weight of the soft plastics will also make the dividers bow. But if you're using these boxes specifically for soft plastics, I'm not concerned with the internal dividers here, the ones that are fixed in the box, taking on a little bow just because that's what I use these boxes for. So if you're going to, you know, use them for soft plastics and down the road use them for for terminal tackle, I wouldn't recommend doing that, again, because they will kind of bow on you. But overall, guys, the box itself pretty much holds the integrity of itself. And like I said, to me, it's the way to go. I love storing my baits in boxes. Eventually, I'll probably have all my baits in boxes again. But as of right now, I mean, I got them in here. I got them in speed bags. I got them in the utility boxes. I got them everywhere. Just trying to give you guys more options. But like I said, my number one choice is boxing my soft plastics. I don't believe I had the pictures anymore. I might, if I do, I'll pop them up on the screen here. But I forget how many clamshells I had in the trash. And I had just three boxes of swim baits. It was like a huge difference, all these here in the trash and three boxes. I mean, it, it's such a space saver to a point to box your baits versus having all those clamshells in your compartments or your book bag or wherever. I do put scent in those boxes from time to time as well. It's another reason that I do like the waterproof boxes, but most of these baits come scented, so they're already going into the box somewhat oily. They're not dry. And like I said, with the waterproof seal, I do believe it just keeps all the moisture in, nothing's drying out. I've never had an issue with those boxes and how I store my soft plastic. So anyways, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to smash the thumbs up. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one.